Hello and welcome to the Theatre Royal's uh, isolation warm-up. My name's Lynn and for those of you who don't know me, I run, or I at least have been, running two of the adult drama classes for the Theatre Royal. Act Your Age, which is for over 55s who don't do what it says on the tin, and uh, also the community company for anyone over 18. So we always start any of our sessions with a little warm up just to get our voices going a little bit. And in case you think you're not gonna need your voice for the next couple of weeks, well, that might be the case at the moment in this um, strange and extraordinary time of isolation. But don't forget when it's all over, there will be some celebrating to be done. We're gonna to wanna to shout loud and we're gonna sing and make a noise. So let's keep our voices in good condition while we're waiting for that day to arrive. So it's only gonna take a couple of minutes and I'll give you plenty of uh, chance to join in with me. So first of all, make sure you're standing nice and uh, comfortably, or if you're sitting, relax as much as you can. Let your arms just flop, yeah? Um, if you're sitting, be careful you don't fall out the chair, of course. But if you're standing up nice and straight, and if you're sitting, just imagine that you've got a, a string attached to the top of your head. And it's not pulling you up, but it's just stopping you from falling over. But you don't have to do any other work on that. The string is holding you up. And let your arms be nice and comfortable. And the first thing we're gonna do is just scrunch up your shoulders to your ears like this. Now, um, uh, while they're scrunched up, uh, I'm gonna just make sure that you uh, know that you mustn't do anything that's gonna hurt you. If you've got sore shoulders, then don't do it, yeah? So uh, just let them relax again. Um, anything like that. If there's anything I'm asking you to do that's gonna hurt, don't do it. If there's anything I'm gonna ask you to do that makes you feel a bit silly, I'm gonna ask you to give it a try, okay? So once again, scrunch up your shoulders to your ears and then let them go. Feel the difference between the tension, scrunch them up and the moment when you let them go. And one last time, here we go. Scrunch them up to your ears and let them go. That's lovely. And give them a little wiggle to make sure you still know where they are. That's lovely. Now, I'm going to ask you to imagine that you've got a pivot running all the way down through your body from the top downwards. And what you're going to do is, with everything else facing forwards, you're just going to turn your head on that pivot. It's that moment where somebody says, don't look behind you now, and you have to try and look like you're not looking behind you. So a couple of times, either way, you're going to just squeeze your head round, keep your shoulders facing forward and squeeze your head round. That's right, don't look now, but Kira Knightley has just walked in to the restaurant behind you. Yeah, so just get that little stretch round like that. Okay, and back to the middle. And now I'm gonna ask you to imagine that the pivot goes in each side through your ears. So what you're gonna do is just drop your chin onto your chest. And I'll make the joke I always make, which is that you can check out you haven't dropped any of your breakfast or your lunch down there. And then back to the middle. And then you're just going to very carefully let your head go backwards. But do make sure you let your jaw fall open. Otherwise, it will hurt. So as you look up to the sky, make sure your jaw is falling open. OK, and back to the middle. Chin onto your chest. Back to the middle again, and look at the ceiling. Oh, that's right, and back to the middle, very good. And now I'm gonna ask you to imagine that the pivot goes all the way through from front to back. And we're gonna just do a little tip of the head. It's what um, my colleague Chris Robery says, it's a listen to your shoulder. So it doesn't go very far, but you're just gonna put a little stretch on one side by tilting your head one side and the other. Just listen to your shoulder. That's right, one side and the other a couple of times. Beautiful, that's lovely, lovely. And then make sure that you're in possession of your head again. Okay, what we're gonna do now is get your faces warmed up. Uh, because again, when we're spending all day, you know, either by yourself or with only one or two other people, you don't get to use your face very much. We're not smiling enough, we're not laughing enough. So we're going to get those muscles working. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is to put all of your face 
up into the top left hand corner okay it looks really silly but you have to rest assured that i can't see you but sadly you can see me but i'm prepared to be a bit silly so you're going to squeeze all your face up into the top left hand corner like this we're going to squeeze now the top right hand corner and the bottom right hand corner we squeeze everything down there and then the bottom left hand corner top left top right bottom right bottom left and now oh, 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 give it a wiggle about like a rabbit mm, that's it and now what we're going to do is uh, which we can do safely because we're not actually in the same room as each other blow out like a horse if you are in the same room as someone else don't do this within two meters of them okay so blow out like a horse get those lips floppy that's it now give it a voice as well perfect now i'm going to ask you to make funny noises with your tongue going up and down like this go from high to low with your voice side to side faster up and down side to side and that's it you can stop now you can stop now i said you can stop now okay very good so now we're just going to do a couple of tongue twisters uh, and the first one um it helps if you imagine it so just imagine that in the middle of the floor there are some tiny baby dogs and they're really sweet. They've got big long ears and their fur is so soft. And they are, of course, floppy, fluffy puppies. What are they? Floppy, fluffy puppies. Say it again three times. Here we go. Floppy, fluffy puppies. And again, floppy, fluffy puppies. What are they? Floppy, fluffy puppies. Okay, that was easy. Now we're going to make it harder. So I want you to say it five times as quickly as you can. Um, here we go. One, two, three, go. Fluffy, fluffy puppies, fluffy, fluffy puppies, fluffy, fluffy puppies, fluffy, fluffy puppies, fluffy, fluffy puppies. Or ploppy, plippy, fluffies, or whatever you ended up with there. Floppy, fluffy puppies. And the next one we're going to do is uh, the one about the uh, Scottish constabulary uh, who um, uh, are called the Leith police and they're letting us go uh, in old-fashioned terms so the words are the leith police dismisseth us the leith police dismisseth us the leith police dismisseth us just keep going see if you can do it the leith police dismisseth us the leith police dismisseth us the leith police dismisseth us very good and uh, you might need a wipe down i feel a bit like i need a wipe down after that Okay, so last of all, we're just going to do what uh, singers call sironing. We're going to make high and low sounds, up and down like a siren. First of all, with just your lips closed on an mmm sound like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And try and push your voice a little bit higher than it's been today and a little bit lower. And it doesn't mean it matter if you fall off. If it disappears at the top, that's fine because it's still exercising those muscles that control your vocal cords. So here we go. Lovely. Now stop there and we're going to do the same thing with an N sound. N. And last of all, with an NG sound. Mm. Here we go. Mm. There we are. 
that should make you nicely prepared to burst into song, which we're not going to do uh, this time round. Uh, but who knows, uh, we might get round to doing a little song next time. So uh, keep those exercises going. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can do them in the shower, you can do them while you're in the bath, you can do them in the garden um, uh, and annoy the neighbours, which I've been doing all morning. So have fun uh, keeping those voices ready for when the big celebration comes and we're all going to need them then. Bye!